if uh, foreigners buy important parts of American real estate or buy important parts of American news media, that should not affect your happiness level, right? It's not going to destroy your life. It's not going to demoralize you. It was clearly making an impact. People would DM me or text me like, oh, this is so amazing. He's bloated open, you know, and um, I wasn't that impressed, but, but maybe, you know, that's just my own kind of ego or whatever. But um, when I've seen... Yes, that, that was your ego. Richard is not impressed by anyone else who competes with him for attention. Mike Benz afterward, and I, I have watched a um, dozen or so videos of him do, talking about censorship. I've noticed this consistent theme, and that is to poo-poo notions of Russian collusion or foreign actors and focus in on it's the government and these. Well, that's a reaction to the mainstream media, essentially, either explicitly or implicitly, either esoterically or exoterically, esoteric meaning hidden, exoteric meaning blatant and obvious, saying that Russia hacked the 2016 election and that Russia was responsible for the election of Donald Trump. Now, there's absolutely no evidence that Russia was responsible for the election of Donald Trump. Uh, Russian interference does disrupt American society a little bit, but it wasn't the consequential factor in the election of Donald Trump. So those who poo-poo Russian influence are doing it against the overwhelming media message for the first three years of the Trump presidency that the 2016 election was substantially tainted by Russian interference. And countries have been interfering in American elections, just like America has interfered in the elections of other countries for decades. Right? This is a normal part of life that every living thing tries to influence the the environment to make it most conducive to its its own thriving. So Russian interference in America, all right, Russian bots in, in social media do have a, a somewhat disruptive effect, right? Do have a negative effect, right? Do probably exacerbate divisions among Americans, but it's not decisive. It's not it's not one of the top twenty problems that this country faces. Blue haired SJWs in um in, in, on Twitter or whatever, who are trying to restrict the free speech of conservatives. Now, look, I think that's, to be fair, I think that's happening to some degree. I bet there is no doubt, you know, things have changed at X or Twitter, but there's no doubt that there was a kind of biased monitoring. And if someone made a joke about transsexuals, he was kicked. Yeah, whatever mechanism you have for running social media or running a company, there's always going to be some bias. All right, we're never going to live in a world without bias. It's not, it's not possible.